File test four. Listening two. Hello, I'm Louisa Fielding, and this is Environmental Corner. With me today is Rick, who volunteers for an environmental agency. Rick, welcome to the program. Hi, thanks very much. Now you've done some voluntary work for an environmental agency in Asia, haven't you? That's right. It was for a diving and marine conservation group in Thailand. So, what exactly is marine conservation? It's basically anything to do with things that live in the sea. How long did you spend in Thailand? Oh, it was quite a long time, actually. Let's see. I'd already decided to take a year off before going to university, but didn't want to spend the full twelve months working on the project. I wanted to,、uh, you know, do a bit of travelling too. And I had to work to earn some money as well, so I spent about half my gap year there. What type of things did the volunteers on this project do when they were there? Most of us were involved in diving surveys, where we helped to identify seahorses. There were so many different types, and that's what I was involved in. A few people worked with local fishermen. They looked at which kinds of fish they catch and taught them about keeping certain fish safe for the future. Others helped with cleaning up the beaches in the area, and they got local kids to help out with that. How many days a week did you have to work? It sounds like you were very busy. There was a work schedule each week, so we knew what was happening and when. The schedule varies depending on the time of year, the weather, and the number of volunteers on the project. We normally worked five days a week and did some diving each day. We had two days to ourselves to relax, travel back to the mainland, or get involved in some of the other activities that were there, like diving or boat trips. That sounds like fun. What were the living conditions like? Well, we shared wooden bungalows with other volunteers, four people to each one. The accommodation had electricity provided by a generator for a few hours in the evenings. And each bungalow had an attached bathroom with a bucket shower. Basically, that's just where you use buckets of water to wash yourself. Oh! <laughs> the bungalows were just a few meters from the beach, so the sea views were amazing. Everyone ate together in the area that we all shared. It had a kitchen and large dining area, and had plenty of space to study or just enjoy the view and relax. The surrounding garden had an equipment room. And in the evenings, staff and volunteers went there to play cards or watch a DVD. Hmm, not bad. So, do you need experience if you want to work on one of these projects? Obviously, it would be a big help if you already knew something about marine biology. But no, volunteers don't need any previous experience. One of the first things everyone is taught is how to dive to the necessary level. There are lots of qualified instructors there. You'll actually leave Thailand with lots of experience under your belt. A few of the guys even learned how to do building work, and you might even have the chance to study some tropical plants in the nearby jungle. It certainly sounds like a valuable way to spend your time, if you have that kind of time to spare, of course. <laughs> oh, definitely. I'd recommend it to anyone with an interest in environmental issues, and.